Cultural Relations and the University of Auckland, all of whom have helped us get this concert onto the stage and these artists to New Zealand. We're very privileged tonight. This is the first time in New Zealand that we've had artists of this caliber performing a dukalbandi, a duet of North and South Indian classical music. And the artists will be saying a little bit about that. I don't need to really say anything else. You will hear what needs to be said, so to speak. So may I please first introduce Professor T. N. Krishnan. and Dr. N. Rajam. Our principal artist tonight will be accompanied on Murdangam uh, by Mr. S. Suresh and on Tabla by Mr. Vinod Lele. Thank you and enjoy the evening.
It is indeed a great pleasure extending a warm and hearty welcome to all of you to a concert of Indian music on the violin this evening. This is our last concert of the tour and we thoroughly enjoyed performing for the highly knowledgeable music lovers of this great and beautiful country. A brief introduction of Indian music will help you follow, understand, appreciate it better. I'll therefore say a few words about certain salient features of Indian music. <coughs> In India, there are two systems of music. One is the Hindustani system, common in the northern part of the country, and the other Carnatic system, prevalent in the south. In today's concert, Professor Krishnan will be rendering in the Carnatic style, and I'll be doing the northern style. Indian music irrespective of the two systems, is essentially monophonic, single line melody, and it's based on tonic. It is tonic oriented. Tonic is very essential in Indian music. And the artist has the freedom to fix the tonic at any frequency as per his uh, requirement. And once it is fixed, it has to be there. It should not be changed after that till the end of the rendering. So, and in Indian music, we do not have absolute pitch. That is the piano keyboard. So while listening to Indian music, one has to forget the pitch consciousness. In today's concert, we have E as the tonic. This is the tonic. You might be wondering how we maintain this throughout the rendering. For that, we have a drone, and that's called the Tanpura. <coughs> Tanpura has four strings. The middle two strings are tuned to the tonic. <coughs> and the fourth string is to tuned to the lower tonic. <coughs> and the first one to lower dominant and the strings are played successively and creates a, it creates a very beautiful uh, uh. <coughs> another thing about indian music is it's highly creative composed part is very limited and the major part of it is on the spot improvisation. Today, we have two percussion accompanists. The Murdangam accompanist, he will be accompanying the Carnatic style of Indian music, whereas this is the tabla, and he will be accompanying the Hindustani wave play. To start with, we are taking up a Raga, a melody common to both the systems, it's Hansadhwani.
well friends the next item is another melody the name is in the carnatic system it is called kannada and in the hindustani system it's, rajam, it's known as bageshri kannada so kannada and bageshri kannada
now have a short interval.
We will now have a Hindustani melody, Chayanat.
Welcome.
Indeed, we are very happy that you were able to understand us. <laughs> we now conclude the recital with the Raag Bhairavi of the Hindustani system, which is the same as the Sindhu Bhairavi of the Carnatic system. Before that, before that, I would like to express our sincere and hearty thanks from the bottom of our hearts to all the people, who, all the music lovers who have gathered here in this large number. And also, I'll be failing, or rather we'll be failing in our duty if I don't, if we don't express our gratitude, those who have sponsored us and brought us to this wonderful and lovely country. In fact, we enjoyed every bit of our stay here. And all the credit goes to the organizers of the Kalar Engineering. University of Auckland, Creative New Zealand. If I have failed to express anyone else, kindly excuse us because I'm not quite sure about other uh, people who are also associated with this. I'm very, very happy that you were all very spontaneous, spontaneously appreciating the music we played just now, and also our music, the Indian music. So with all your good wishes, we will play the last ragam, as Dr. Rajams told you, the Sindhu Bhairavi or the Bhairavi. And we take leave of you after this composition. Long live music and long live the whole music lovers. Let me wish you all peace and prosperity and joy. Thank you.